So guys, I'm going down to the pier so uh, I can see what Chad's doing down there. Uh, yes, I am wearing a jacket because it is cold outside today. So we're going down to the pier where I made the out shopping video, the James Hill Park video. If you guys hadn't seen the out shopping or the James Hill Park video, make sure you guys go check that out. It's not that cold out here to where it's freezing cold, but it is cold enough for a little jacket or a little something to wear to keep you warm. I had two other jackets, but I chose to wear this black one because if I wore the other ones, I would be cold. And my sister is at home asleep still, so I hope she's okay there by herself, which she should be. I had to make sure no cars are coming down this street. There's one coming, but he's not gonna get to me in time. So I'm entering the park right now, as you guys can see. This is not really a far walk once you get used to walking it. They have now at this park, they do have a street over there. I don't know if you can see that car, but they do have a uh, way that you can get over there by driving. You can see that car. It's just, you gotta pass the James Hill Park sign and then make that right. But that's if people wanna come back out here in their cars. I like walking back here. It's good exercise and stuff. So walking back here to go find Chad now. He said there was people back here catching speckled trout. And I think he's fishing too. He wants me to stay down here with him. But, you know, like I said, I'm sorry, Chad, but fishing's not really my thing. I don't even know why I'm coming down here because I know as soon as I get down here, I'm gonna stay down here for a little bit and then I'm just gonna leave. But there ain't really anything to do at the house, so I might as well, you know, stay down here for a little bit. I hate when you just now waking up, like I'm just now waking up, coming down here. I noticed when I got up, before I got dressed to come down here, that Chad's, uh, a couple of Chad's fishing poles were gone. And I thought somebody might've took them. So I had to message Chad real quick, to find out where he was at. And luckily, he's down here at the pier. But the one thing Chad don't know is the part to where he goes to, down the street down there, it's easier to just walk through the park, walk down this long pier to go to where he's at. It's not that hard. I come this way. He's not over there. Why does Chad have to all, I don't understand that. Now I gotta go straight, wait. Yeah, I gotta go straight. This pier, it confuses me every time, guys. 
I'm going to get some uh, clips of this. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see this, this view. And uh, I will come back on here after that. So that's the view of, uh, or that's the scenery of what you see that we see when we're down here, when he's down here, this is what he sees. I don't really like to fish because I don't want to smell like one, you know? It's not that I don't like fishing, it's just I don't want to smell like that when I'm done. So that's why I don't stay really down here long because I don't want to smell like a fish, you know, from fishing. Because he told me to eat something before I come down here, but I purposely forgot to eat something. So I'm walking down this trail now and uh I will see you guys when I get to Chad. So, anyways guys, I'm down here at the pier. All the Chad stuff, his fishing poles, all the stuff right there. He's down the way at the boat launch, um, oh, in the cast net, so he can get some bait. And uh, I'm down here chilling with his stuff, keeping an eye on it. So, uh, I don't know when he's coming back, but I'm down here with his stuff, like I said. This is, is a good view. And I might have showed it before, but way over there. Way out there, where my finger is, that's the Lorraine Cowan Bridge. And from that bridge, you can see all of this. It's crazy. But you expect to see it. Like you can see that little boat right there. You can see that boat from the, uh, from the bridge. It's pretty cool. But this is where everybody comes fishing at you know, that lives in this area that knows about this. Not many people know about this area, but it's not hard to get to if you really want to find it. Um, that's not that hard. So guys, I'm currently going to go see if my sister wants to come down here <coughs> with us to the pier because Nothing was popping at first, and then we moved from the pier to this little spot off the rocks. It's like a rocky area. Chad started catching. <coughs> Chad started reeling fish in. So I'm gonna go down here to the house. I'm gonna see if Harley wants to come over here with us. And then, if she doesn't want to come over here with us, she wants to stay at the house, then well, I'll stay at the house and just tell Chad I'm going to stay there with Harley and uh, come back later or something. But uh, right now, I'm just, I'm on my way to go and get my sister and uh, Sorry that I'm stepping so loud, it's this pier. 
that was a hill I had to go down. That's why I was stepping so loud. But yeah, I'm on my way to go and get her. I could really probably, you know, go to the house and take this jacket off because it's not really needed out here now since it's warming up. And I'll get hot real quick. So I'm going to go get her, but I'm going to find out what she wants to do first. Oh, and there's one thing that I have to talk to you guys about too. I know that I'm doing the giveaway and nothing's changed about it. Anyways, I'm doing this giveaway. It's in the description, but I changed it a little bit. Instead of giving the last subscriber a gift card, what I'm gonna do guys to make it fair, cause I thought about this, I'm going to use a number generator. So what I'm going to do when I get 100 subscribers, I'm going to put the numbers 1 through 100 in the generator. And then I'm going to choose like that. So if I do 1 through 100 and 27, it picks the number 27, the 27th subscriber will get a gift card so that's the first way that I thought I could do it so that's how I'm gonna do the giveaway nothing really changed with the giveaway just the process of how I'm going to pick the lucky subscriber for the gift card so that's what I had to mention to you guys. And every 19th of the month, there's going to be a grocery shopping vlog every 19th of the month. But if my mom doesn't have to work that day on the 19th, or if she has to work on the 19th, I'll do the video on the day that she goes and it'll be uploaded like normal the upload time is going to be the same for the vlog it's just you know if she decides to go shopping on that day because i thought that the out grocery shopping vlog was a pretty good video because we went to three stores you know i put the car trip vlogs in there I cut the audio out and I put music behind it and I sped it up a little bit. So that's how I'm going to do those videos, you know, from now on. So I thought, why not do a grocery shopping vlog every month? And uh, it's not going to have the same title. They're gonna have different titles every every time I uh, every time I upload or I make a video. So that's how I'm gonna do that. But I'm almost to my house now. But yeah, I think that would be cool if I, if I made a grocery shop and, you know, vlog every 19th of the month because it'll, um, it'll give you guys something different to watch. But, you know, it's probably going to be the same three stores that we go to every month, Walmart, Win Dixie and Grocery Depot. I'm trying to just be a good content maker for you guys. So I'm in the trailer park right now. 
My little sister is over there, so I'm fixing to go get her real quick. And then once I'm done seeing what she needs, I will come back on here and let you guys know. So I just got back to my house and I'm probably not going back down there to Chad because Chad's probably going to be down there for a little bit because the fish started hitting right before I left or like right when I was leaving or getting ready to leave they started hitting he caught a big a big white trout so he's probably gonna be down there for a little bit so I'm gonna stick around here while he's down there I hope you guys enjoy watching you know these vlogs I hope you guys keep bringing new subscribers to the channel I hope you guys share my videos with all your friends all your family uh, I I love that I love to see my videos everywhere like well not everywhere but I like seeing my my videos on other people's TVs or other people's computers or other people's phones or other people talking about it I like that that makes me feel good that makes me want to keep making you know content for you guys because all I'm really trying to be is a good content maker for you guys. And um, that's all I'm really trying to do is just is just be a good content maker. You know, come up on here and, and do what I think is right. Uh, that's basically all I'm trying to do. If you see me doing something on here, don't copy me. Don't sit there and say you want to be like me. If it's something dangerous that you see me doing, like, I don't know, walking down, like in the walking around Gulfport video. If you are a younger subscriber and you see me walking in the middle of the street when there's no cars coming, don't, don't, don't do that. You could get hurt, not pay attention. The driver couldn't be paying attention and do something, so... When you see me doing something like that, like walking in the walking around Gulfport video when he's walking on the side of the street and then had to cross over, Chad went in front of the car before, well, Chad got across the street before the car came, but I wouldn't have made it. So if I would have went, I probably would have got hit, hurt or something. So I waited for the car to pass first. So guys, of course it's, you know, late. Um, I did come back to the house, but... You know, I know I didn't go back down to the pier, and that's because my sister didn't want to go back down there. And I didn't want to go back down there, so I just stayed down at the house. You know, down here, you know, and I chilled at the house. And that was the day you know, I went to the pier, watched them fish. I know I didn't show any of it, and I'm sorry about that. I uh, thought Chad was, uh, I thought that. Uh, me and Chad was gonna fish or or no, I thought Chad was gonna hook me a pole up or Hook me a reel up so I could help him fish, but it didn't turn out that way so I Didn't do anything. I watched him fish the only reason why I didn't film anything is because The fish wasn't really biting at first and then right when I was getting ready to leave to come back down here to see if my sister wanted to come down there with us, he started catching, uh, I think he said trout. It was either speckled trout or white trout, one of the two. I think it was white trout. But he caught like two of them, and I don't know if he caught anything else, but... I'm sorry that I didn't get any of that on video for you guys to see. I'm sorry. I'm going to go and end this here. And I'm going to sit there and say, I have two cents in the dream. And you could too. And remember, be yourself and always keep peace.